In this video, we'll go through new features added in the layer groups 2.0 and 2.1 updates. 2.0 was a few months ago and we'll start by reviewing the features which are added by this version. As a first one, you can see that now layers contain information about objects placed in them. They can either have show information about every object in the document placed in the same layer or you can go to the layer groups panel and filter for objects on current spread. So you click show objects on current spread and you can see there's certainly a lot less objects and a lot easier to find the objects because you're only working with the objects placed on this spread. If you are searching for a particular object and you do not know where it is, where it is in the document, you can click to show all objects in the document. This was added by the version 2.0, which is compatible with InDesign CS to CS5. Another important feature added by this update was importing layers from other documents. I have another document open here, which is called Gelato Logo. You can see on the images layer, there's the file icecreamlogo.ai placed. So we can go back to our original document, go to Layer Groups panel, choose Import Layers. You can see that if the document is already open in another in window of InDesign, it's pre-selected in your, in your dialog. If it is not, you can just browse your hard drive and open any document you want. You select one or more layers you want to import. In our case, we only select one. We only select the images layer. We hit import. We also have the setting for merging the layers with the same name, which we do want to use because we already have images layer in our original document and we don't want any duplicities. So we hit import and instantly the image the placed in the Gelato logo in design document right here was placed in our document. We are working on the same spot. It's really convenient if you can just pull out and pull in translated text to another document or you can use this for collaboration of more authors on the same page. So these were the two important features added by the 2.0 version of Layer Groups plugin, which supports InDesign CS to CS5. Now let's get to the features added recently with the version 2.1, which is only compatible with InDesign CS3 to CS5. You can see that by importing the layers, we also imported the ice cream logo image, and it has this arrow next to it as if we could expand it. And Indeed, we can. If we click this, we can see all these different layers. These layers are actually placed in Illustrator. So let us switch to Illustrator and you can see Illustrator document with different layers for color, black and white or language variations of the logo. We switch back to InDesign and you can see the same thing we did in Illustrator. We can now do in InDesign. We can switch these layers on and off from the layer groups panel. This is not limited just to Illustrator files. You can see this image below. This is from Photoshop. And we can, of course, do the same thing. We can expand it and we can turn on and off different layers. Let us take a look in Photoshop. This image has original image as a background layer. And there is a group called black and white effect group containing brightness, brightness and contrast filter and also black and white filter, turning this color image to grayscale. So switch back to InDesign and you can see that if we turn the group on, the black and white effects group, the image turns black and white. We can do the same for the Illustrator file. So now we have a black and white, black and white page ready for black and white print. You can also turn on and off the subgroups. So if you don't like the brightness and contrast effect layer applied to the Photoshop image, you can turn it off. It's not too visible, but it happened. You can turn off this, the black and white layer and just keep the brightness and contrast. Or you can just simply keep those two visible, but hide the group which groups them, containing the, effect, uh, the batch of effects applied to the image. And there is a second feature added by the 2.1 update. And this is sorting objects to different layers based on their type. So if we, for example, create a text text frame with a placeholder text for now, we can go to layer groups panel, 
choose move to separate layer and choose move text then we are prompted if we wish to ungroup all affected groups which means if the text frames are in a group the group of course cannot be across multiple layers so we'd have to ungroup the text from images this is somewhere in the document we hit OK for this case and you can see the LG, LG text layer which means layer groups text was created and every text frame in the document was moved to this green layer you can see this one this document is on the green layer all the text is now on the newly created text layer the same can be done for graphics so again layer groups menu move to separate layer move graphics again LG graphics layer was created we need to move it below the text so the text is visible LG graphics layer was created and you can see that every graphic image is now on the blue LG graphics layer the same can be done for buttons and multi-state objects and this is really important if you are creating an iPad or tablet document which is supposed to be interactive you really need your buttons to be in the topmost layer this is a way to ensure it you also want your multi-state objects to be on a separate layer so you can easily work with them and you can make sure they're always visible in your interactive output so to sum up these were the features of the 2.1 and 2.0 upgrades of layer groups plugin this was listing the objects on the layer in every InDesign from CS up. This was listing the layers in the in the embedded or placed PST and Illustrator files where you can show and hide the layers conveniently from the panel. This was importing layers from another document and also sorting your objects in the in the document into separate layers based on their content which is for graphic file graphic frames text frames buttons and multi-state objects and remember as always with DTP tools whether you have four years old 1.0 version of layer groups or whether you've just recently purchased you always upgrade for free not just from InDesign CS to CS5 but you also upgrade for free from 1.0 to the 2.1 version so just go ahead download the newest installer your original serial number still works still activates it you upgrade for free